What's up YouTube, it's Ben, and in this video, I wanna tell you how to do cold email the right way. All right guys, if you're brand new to the channel, my name is Ben Nader, and I talk about things like investing, real estate, recruiting, business, entrepreneurship, all things of that sort. If you like that kind of stuff, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into this video, talking all things cold email the right way. All right, now before I jump full on into this, I definitely wanna let you guys that last night, we literally dropped fire. Myself and Connor Robertson, we did a full live session workshop, all things cold email and tons of gold nuggets and gems were dropped and tons of people are for the better because of it. So if you wanna catch the replay of that, it's in my Facebook group, Recruiter Empire. Link to the Facebook group in the video description. If you're not already in there, definitely just click the link. I'll approve you and get you into the group. We definitely want you in there. There's over 14,000 recruiters and entrepreneurs in the group. We definitely wanna have you in there. That's where you can find the replay all about cold email. But we're gonna talk about some really, really good stuff right here, right now. So stick with me till the end so we can talk about delivering your cold emails, doing it all right, and making you money. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about with cold email is your subject line. All right, think about your subject line like a pickup line, okay? If you're at a bar and you're, you know, dating, I don't know, whatever, right? I don't wanna say hitting on girls or hitting on men, I don't know. But if you are at a bar and you're interacting socially with people and you're using pickup lines, right? That's similar to subject lines. This is what gets a conversation started. This is what gets an email opened, right? So it's gotta be good. It can't be cheesy, it can't be stupid, it can't be like something that doesn't make any sense. It's gotta make perfect sense, it has to be reasonable, it has to be interesting, and it'll start a conversation and it'll open an email. Generally speaking, the question framework always works on subject lines for cold emails. So, question about your hiring needs, question about the salesperson role opening, question about your Q4 hiring, question about the sales department, right? Like whatever it is, anything question framed is always more likely to be opened because people are hardwired to answer questions. And this is why a question subject line generally works. So if you follow that framework, which we talked about a lot last night, again, on the replay, join the Facebook group and you'll catch that. But we talked about everything question related on subject line. So if you can formulate questions out of your subject lines, you're in business. And in our mentorship program, we teach all the best subject lines and the subject lines that actually work, that are proven, and actually get tons of open rates, like 50% open rates, right? So with that framework, you're off to the races and you can definitely get started. So I wanna give you guys a clue on how you should be framing your subject lines for your cold emails. Let's jump on to the next stuff. All right, so there's always two things that I say about cold email, right? Or any type of messaging whatsoever. Who you are and why you're reaching out. Okay, so let's unpack that for just a second because it's kind of a big deal, right? First things first, you wanna explain who you are, but you wanna do it in a very simple form or fashion, right? Hey, this is Ben from Seattle Search Solutions. I'm reaching out because, right? So here's the deal. You literally wanna frame yourself in almost one or two sentences. You don't need a paragraph to talk about your company, your attributes, like what you do, all that jazz. Like you don't, nobody cares. The client doesn't care. Your prospect doesn't care. Whoever you're emailing does not care about this, right? Generally, I'm speaking in terms of recruiting here, right? So if you're reaching out to a prospective client, they really don't care that much about every single thing that you do. That will come later once they actually engage with you after you did a good question subject line and you sent a message about who you are, right? And why you're messaging them. So we'll get, jump on that next. Okay, so why are you messaging them? Well, it's obviously to get a conversation going, right? Same thing as at the bar with the pickup lines, right? Why are you 
you know, giving people pickup lines. Well, it's a sort of conversation. You want to start a conversation with some person, a guy or a girl. You want to start a conversation, maybe get to know that person. And that's how dating starts, right? So generally you want to basically say some stuff about why you are messaging them, why you're contacting them. Like there has to be a reason. Your email can't just be like blank, right? So subject line, who you are, and then why you're messaging them. This is really simple, okay? So people make this way too complicated, and really, it doesn't have to be whatsoever. And in fact, the more simple it is, the better, right? So just like who you are, you wanna shorten that way up, and the same thing about why you're messaging them. Shorten it up, make it succinct, make it to the point, make it exactly what you want to talk about with them, right? So. Let them know, hi, I'm Ben. I'm messaging you from Seattle Search Solutions. I'm the founder and I'm reaching out because I saw that you had 30 openings for XYZ position. I'd love to speak with you at some point because we have the opportunity to provide you with a handful of candidates that could fill these roles. Are you available to talk at X time or B time, right? Whatever it is, you have a call to action, right? So there's a two-step call to action, right? It's this time or that time. Either way, we're talking, man. This time or that time, you choose. So right then and there, we should cover subject line, right? Question format who I am, explain who you are in one to two sentences. Then why am I messaging you? Explain exactly a real reason, a genuine reason why you're reaching out because they have roles, they have pain, they have a need and you're there to fix it. So that's why you are messaging them. Once they get that clear through their head, they're either gonna understand, okay, well, we actually do need that help. So I'm gonna message back or you're gonna actually follow up, which we'll talk about here in a second, and they'll message you back at some point. Let me dive right into that piece right there. This is something that everyone skips right over, and we covered this a ton last night when we did our live. We talked about follow-up, right? So the fortune is in the follow-up. I'll never stop saying that in my life. I did a YouTube video on this way back, like a couple years ago, where I literally calculated how much money I made in one single year, and it was literally multi-six figures just simply on follow-up. The way I calculated it was basically doing the numbers on how many follow-up emails I sent to specific clients or prospective clients that actually ended up reaching out on email number like five or six or something like that that I actually ended up doing business with and calculated how much business I did with them and it ended up being like almost a quarter of a million dollars, right? So we're literally talking about the difference of literally $250,000, $300,000, $100,000. I don't know, that's kind of worth the follow-up for me. now. Ben, what do you recommend? How many emails should we send? What does follow-up look like? Well, here's the deal, right? If you're doing cold email outreach, cold email is a different animal. It's a different beast, right? And a lot of people have this mindset up top where they're like, I don't wanna be annoying. I don't wanna be like too pushy. I don't wanna be, forget it. Cold email doesn't matter. Cold email is exactly what it is. It's marketing, it's advertising, it's outreach, right? So it doesn't matter if you send four emails, six emails, 12 emails, right? If you talk to some people, they talk about sending like 25 cold emails over a period of time. I'm not talking about like 25 days straight, but generally we go with the cadence of about seven or eight cold emails around four to five days apart. That's a good, healthy sequence that will get someone's attention. And I can tell you fact for fact, after doing this thousands and thousands of times, that generally people will pick you up on email number four. I don't know why, that's just where they generally pick it up. Email number one, they're out to breakfast and they never saw it. Email number two, they saw it and they're like, yeah, I'll get to it later. Email number three, they're like, mm, yeah, we need that. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to contact that person. Email number four comes around and it's like, all right, let's get serious. I actually need to get back to Ben. Here we go. So that's generally how it happens. But the fortune is in the follow-up. And if you're lacking on your follow-up, you are literally the difference between six figures or nothing. Now, this is something we also covered last night, which is huge, okay? Everyone needs to understand this, all right? And we teach this in mentorship. We teach this in our Empire Mentorship Program, but you need 
to be different. You need to differentiate yourself. You need to have an offer that's something that they cannot refuse. Something so sexy that literally when you lay it out to them in a cold email, they will feel stupid not replying to it, right? Something so good, something so perfect that the recipient will literally feel stupid not replying to, not actually engaging with you. Like the offer is so damn good that if they said no, it's like they should feel dumb. Another thing right behind that is A, B, T. Always be testing. So with this being said, you need to be testing like three to four campaigns at any given time, especially if you're a beginner. If you're just starting, you need to test out like three or four different campaigns, email campaigns with email, different email copy, right? Different email messaging, right? Like what you actually say in the body of your email, what you say in the subject line, test different things. And then whatever works, double, triple, quadruple down on that because it works, right? So keep doing more of that. Don't do the stuff that doesn't work, right? Always be testing and that goes for everything. Now, when you message a prospective client, you want to think in terms of alleviating their pain. They have a pain point, otherwise known as a need, right? If they're a recruiting client, they have roles that they need to fill. They're losing money every single day the role is not filled. So by virtue of you messaging them, think in terms of their shoes. Think in terms of what they would wanna hear when they see your cold email, what they wanna to read when they read your cold email, right? Think in those terms. Think in terms of what they're gonna feel like when they see that text on the screen and they're like, hmm, is this gonna solve my problem? Like, will Ben solve my problem with what he just laid out in this value proposition? Yes, perfect, I'm gonna message him back. Be sure that you keep your cold emails succinct, short, sweet, and to the point, and actionable, okay? So, putting that all together, make sure that your email is not too long, do not write a narrative. No one will read it. They will literally close the email right after you wrote that awesome subject line. If you write a novel, that's going to the trash right away. So don't write a novel. Write something succinct to the point, just like I mentioned, with actionable CTAs at the bottom. What a CTA is, is a call to action. That's what it stands for, right? So you're calling them to do a next step, right? Just like I mentioned earlier, like, hey, Bob, do you want to hop on the phone at 10 a.m. on Monday or would 2 p.m. on Wednesday work better, right? Either way we're talking, bud, you get to choose which time, right? It's the two-step close, right? So you give them two options, right? And it's just moving you closer towards getting the conversation started. It's getting you closer towards that deal signed, closer towards actually being able to place for them and place their roles and end up getting paid. Listen, cold email does not have to be difficult. I know that it's not getting any easier as days go by, right? It's not getting any easier for us to send out cold email messages, but if you're good, and if you listen to the things I'm saying, and if you're in our mentorship program especially, and you know exactly what to do, you can be really, really successful with cold email. I can attribute like 98% of every success I've had in recruiting to cold email. All right, guys, if you found value in this video, you definitely wanna find value in the live that we did last night. So make sure you join Recruiter Empire. Link in description, we'll be dropping that replay video sometime today or tomorrow, depending on whenever you watch this video. But with that being said, go look for it in the Facebook group and I will see you guys next time.